What's up, everyone? This is the Tour, your sports and life podcast, and now we want to talk about the NFL. No fun league. Like, if you really think about it, the NFL has all this power, but it's kind of like a fake power. It's really up to the players. They have all the power, but all the players, there's so many players on on each team, we take them as, as a whole, that they don't work together enough to where they give the NFL power. But now a lot of players are trying to work together um, because it, because there's some issues going on with um, the coronavirus testing coming up of this year. Obviously, there'd be no fans in the stands. That's guaranteed. But the question is, how do they keep a 53-man roster who's traveling from state to state because they don't, they, there's no way they keep in a bubble? How do they keep a roster like that one and they keep each player um, with, with testing so that they can actually go and play the game? Everybody feels safe, like how the, how the NBA is doing it or how soccer is doing it. I, I really find it really, really hard for them to do it. You do have a few players who are opting out of the season completely. They say that I'm just not playing the season. But you do have some teams um, who are implementing fines for players who do not show up, which is incredibly stupid because it makes it seem that you care about the bottom line. And I get it. That that is the only thing they care about. They'd rather have the player die and with their way. They don't care. They don't guarantee their contracts. They just want their body there so they can make money. But... It's up to the players now to take a stand and just say, fuck that. We're not playing until we get dynamic testing. They get guarantees. And this is the time to do it. Because if they stand up together in unison, they will really affect the bottom line of the NFL. And when you start affecting the NFL's money, that's when changes will happen. That's when things will become pro players instead of against players, which which it is right now. The interesting things that will go down is I think they'll play. I know they'll play. There'll probably be a reduced season. I don't know by how many games, but it just depends on who, like, how they get the whole thing structured. If it's anything like baseball, I don't know. They might go. They, it might be a big mess because they have more players on the field and just people around all the time. But it'll be a reduced season. It'll be definitely weird if they try to do a bubble situation because that will definitely help the situation. But it is kind of weird to play on a field that nobody knows how to play on and you have all these teams that need to play on the same field. That will be definitely strange. I don't know what will happen in the NFL. Um, Hopefully they get this corona stuff figured out uh, because I love uh, football and I do want to see some games. So hopefully they get that going. The next topic I'll talk about is the top 100 players got released uh, this week. Um, this is a rating system, which I love. I love when the NFL does stuff like this. See, this is why the, uh, the NFL is kind of uh, kind of above most people when it comes to marketing, because they release stuff like this where uh, NFL players choose who the best players are. And for this year, you had Lamar Jackson be the number one player. Um, because he was the MVP last year, the team had the best record. Um, he was pretty much electric all year round. Um, the only thing they faltered was the playoffs, and that's just kind of what's going to happen to a young quarterback. Um, so, Lamar Jackson number one. Personally, I'm from Washington State, so Russell Wilson should be number one. He was number two. I don't understand why. And then you, and then you had um, this defensive tackle um, Aaron Donald number three. And then you had the Super Bowl um, MVP um, from Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes, as number four. Um, it is kind of weird that he is number four. If anything, I'd say he's number one because he is the future. No one can stop him. Lamar Jackson is amazing, but people can stop him. Patrick Mahomes is far above Lamar Jackson at this stage. He's just a better player overall. If... Anybody who's on the team in the NFL, that's the person you'll get. The guy has the arm, he has the pocket awareness, and he can scramble. He's not like Lamar Jackson fast, but he'll get you your five yards and then set it up for a 50-yard touchdown the next play. So 
it is sort of weird that Patrick Mahomes, because even 2018-2019 season, he was number four also. I don't know why they didn't move him up some more. Russell Wilson should be number two. Um, if I, if I would, I'd flip it, I'd put Patrick Mahomes number one, Russell Wilson number two, and Lamar Jackson number three. Um, Russell Wilson number two um, because the guy's just been solid. That guy is... I, like People don't understand. Russell Wilson, once he got the NFL, he's never had a losing record. The guy can do it all. Deep throws, scramble, short throws... And, like, the guy just knows the game. He just knows the game. And he's doing it with, like, subpar talent. He does have a DK. But DK is kind of a rookie. He's kind of just getting there. But if you look at the receiving core, it hasn't been that good. Like, he has, he's never had an all-star receiving core his entire career. And now it's, getting the, now it's starting to kind of get some good players offensively. Um, the Seattle has always had the defense. See, the Seahawks have always been built on defense, but never were built on offense. But now they're starting to get players on offense, um, so things are looking good. Um, but to me, he is definitely one of the best players. Number two is a perfect spot for him. If Mahomes or Jackson were not there, he would be number one, no doubt. And that's kind of it for the NFL for this week. We'll definitely try and catch up some more on what's going on with testing, especially as players drop out, like big name players drop out, which really impacts um, how teams function. So far, nothing, no major offensive player has dropped out. It's only been defensive players like linebackers here and there. But as, as things kind of don't progress, you will definitely start seeing some dominance fall and things will start getting a little bit sketchy for a little bit but hey you know we'll see how it goes i'm sure the nfl will come up with something i'll see you guys in a few seconds